All right, what we have here is a, whatever this brand is, wine breather carafe. So basically it's sort of like a decanter, right? So we open up a bottle of wine, you're supposed to let it breathe. This guy is supposed to help you with that. So I bought some wine at my local winery and it is cool looking, no actual directions here. This comes out and this is, my guess is glass, yeah. It's like a genie in the bottle. Give me a bunch of money. So it says it's a waterfall bell. Optimally aerates and disperses wine. The wine will be poured into a beautiful arc evenly in 12 strands. Okay, so you pour the wine directly into this thing and then it makes it look cool, I guess. I just open this box and this looks like it's a pour, right? It's not even on top, so it is set to pour. That's pretty good. Let me, I'm gonna watch this thing by hand, I guess. Doesn't say, oh, look, you can hold it like this. You're a cool guy, you can hold it like that. Doesn't say if it's dishwasher safe. Right now, I'm not gonna dishwasher. I'm just gonna wash it by hand, of course, because I don't have time to run dishwasher right now, so. Let me wash this by hand right quick. Crack open my wine bottle, and I'm gonna get two glasses. I'm gonna pour one into here, and then pour one into the glass by itself, and I'll taste them back to back. We'll see if I actually notice a difference in the taste. All right, so I did wash it out. So this is a good example. The hot water still made it kind of frosted there, and it's kind of hard to air it out because the way it's designed to keep, I guess, air in there, maybe. I mean, I literally just washed it, so I'm sure that will go away if I waited, but I'm in the mood to drink my wine. And I wash these two glasses. They're not exactly the best wine glasses, but that's what I got. So this is a little Cabernet Sauvignon. You may not be in a wine aficionado like me, but that's how you pronounce it. Once again, Cabernet Sauvignon. And this guy's battery's done, which is great. Hopefully enough to get it out. There we go. So I literally just opened it. So I'm gonna do two things. I guess first I'm gonna pour this guy. I'm sure that water in there is not really gonna help the flavor, but. So it does look cool going in and I did spill it on my table. Well, I think just how cool it looks going in. It's worth the price of admission alone right there. All right, and then let me pour an actual glass. So this is my regular glass, and this one I'll pour in from here. So I just opened it, poured a glass here. Let's try the glass straight from the bottle. It's good. I mean, I haven't had wine in a while, so I've been drinking nothing but bourbon. I forgot how delicious wine is. Now let's try this guy. Let's see if he also pours cool. Let me see if I can do it left-handed. I'm gonna try like that guy in the box. He's holding it like this. He's holding it like this. He's a cool guy. All right, let me taste this one. Going back to this guy. It is a noticeable difference. I did not think that was gonna do anything. Wow, let me cleanse my palate with a little sparkly water. That's what you do when you take a official wine tasting course. I'm a sommelier. You drink a can of water in between wine glasses. First off, they're both delicious. I am not a wine expert. This tastes smoother. It's good, but it's kind of, I wouldn't say thick, vastly different. The mouth feel, as they say, right? It makes this one feel thinner, I guess is the only way I would describe it. This one's a little more harsh, I guess, and this from this bottle is smoother. I don't have anyone to assist me in this at the moment, but I bet if I mix these up, I can tell the difference. I'd say one, this is cool looking. Two, it looks super cool when it pours in there. Three, I know it's a taste difference. I'm not gonna pretend like I can't drink wine fresh out the bottle. I do that all the time because I am a heathen. When I was a traveling businessman, I would drink the little tiny wine bottles with a little twist off cap, get like a four pack of Walgreens. That was good stuff. I don't pick it up and drink out the bottle. I'm not that little rent. I know what that means. I do generally just open the bottle and drink it because I don't normally just have like a whole wine cellar full of wines just spread out everywhere, right? And we got kids in the house, so. This would be good for me. It is good for me because I have it. It's mine. They did send it to me, but I was very interested in this one. I usually do a regular job in the daytime. In the evening time, after the family goes to bed, I unwind with a beverage. Usually a glass of bourbon, but I do like wine but I tend to open them at the time. So this will let me pour it in this guy. I'll have better wine, better tasting wine because of this guy in the evenings. This is a great thing for me. I like it and I'm gonna keep drinking and 
You look like a super cool guy. Like if I invited a guest over and I had this guy just sitting on a table and I was like, oh, would you like some wine? Hmm, here we go. Hmm. Look at that. I'm already more classy than I was a couple minutes ago. All right, that's enough. I like it. Big thumbs up. Big fan. I'll show you how big fan I am. I'm gonna drink this. Delicious. All right, thanks for checking me out. I recommend it. It gets the big thumbs up. All right, thanks.